Hey, this is Eric. I'm one of the co-owners of Painter Choice and the founder of Painting Business Pro. And if you're watching this video, you're someone who is interested in growing your painting business, whether you found my videos through YouTube or you're watching this from Painter Choice, either way, you're someone who's, who's looking to grow your business. So we want to make this series. It's going to be the, today is going to be the first part of a six part series uh, that outlines all of the steps that you need to take to actually grow your business. The reason we want to make this is there's a lot of really great advice out there, but the problem is it's all incomplete. You know, if you go talk to a lead company that provides leads, they're going to tell you that the key to growing your business is getting more leads. If you talk to someone who's selling a software system, they're going to tell you that you need to know your numbers and you need to have your software to run your business and that'll help you grow your business. The truth of it is you actually have to work on your whole business if you want to grow your business. And that's what we're going to kind of talk about over this series uh, is how, what are the steps that you need to take to actually grow your business? How do you do it? Because um, there is a system for it. There are steps to it. And I've been doing this for the last 10 years, helping people grow a business. And so I've kind of got the system down. So that's what we want to we want to get into. And today I'm going to kind of give you an overview of what we're going to cover over the course of the series. So first, I think it's good to start with the end in mind of where we want to be. So we want to we want to grow our business. So the thing to understand is if you want to grow your business, you need to be doing something different from what you're doing right now. And why we all want to grow our business is probably to make more money. Um, there may be other motivations too, but one of them is to make more money. So um, the first concept is you want to understand how much money you're making per hour depending on what you're doing. So we can find out where your time is most valuable. So if you're actually painting on job sites, we're going to get into to that whole realm. But if you're actually painting, you're making about as much money as you could pay someone else to paint. So that's kind of your the amount of money you're making per hour. And we can spend a lot of time in the production part of our business, but the production part of our business isn't actually where we make a lot of money. And production, I mean hiring painters, managing job sites, trips to the paint store, talking with customers, dropping by job sites again, and production. So most people spend a lot of time in the production part of their business and not as much time in marketing and sales. But to grow our business, we need to spend time with marketing and sales. That's where the business actually grows, but it's actually where we spend the least amount of our time usually. Um, not everyone, if you're someone who's already spending a lot of time there, will get to how do you continue to grow once you aren't spending all your time in production. But that's really going to be the first, the first thing we're going to dive into is how do we free your time? It's so important to free your time because once we free up some of your time, we can replace whatever you were doing with things that generate more income and more revenue than whatever you got rid of. So for example, if you're painting houses 40 hours a week, we can stop painting 40 hours a week, hire someone for $15 an hour to do that, and with that new 40 hours that we have free, we can spend that doing marketing and sales, which will make us more than $15 per hour. And so that's what we're gonna get into in the next video, is once we've freed our time, then we need to, we need to start to take actions like marketing and sales actions. And so we're going to start to look at that in the second video because it is a balance between marketing and sales. You don't want to get so many leads with your marketing that you can't serve all your customers. But if you're not painting, you're making less money. So we do need to increase sales. So it's kind of a dance increasing marketing and sales at the same time once you start to free some of that time up. All right, so now that we're work we, we know we need to work on marketing and sales, we're going to kind of talk about the balance between marketing and sales. In the next video, we're going to actually get into sales. Sales is actually probably the most important skill for you to learn. Um, and we're going to talk about why sales is so important in that third video and, uh, and, and start to give you some resources on how to improve your sales and improve your process with your leads. Because if you can't sell, that's going to be a problem with growing your business. So we're going to get into sales in this third video. Once we've covered sales, uh, the next thing is, okay, so now you're really good at sales. So now what we want to do is continue to get more and more leads for the business so you can do more and more sales. And as you, as you fill up your schedule with sales, there may be a point where you're completely booked doing sales all the time, where then we might need to start to hire salespeople to go out and do all those estimates for us. So we'll start to talk about what happens at those levels. Um, but in this fourth video, we're going to look at marketing and how do we generate enough leads so that we can book our ourselves with sales. And once you hire sales reps, we need even more leads. So we're going to talk a lot about marketing in this next video. And then the fifth video, that's actually, I guess, 
this is kind of the first video, and the, so these will be all the others. Um, but it, this will be our, kind of our last video, and in that video, we're really going to outline our, our painter choice service and you know give you some insight into how the whole paper lead service works. Um, our company, my painting company in Colorado, has had a lot of success with painter choice leads. I actually was a customer of painter choice before I ever uh, was a, one of the co-owners of painter choice and had so much success with the leads. Chandler and I went into business together and that's how we ended up being co-owners of painter choice. So we're going to talk about kind of how that works as well as how other types of lead services work. Um, so that as you start to go in and do more marketing for your business, you kind of know what to expect and at least have some guidance um, for how you're going to be able to grow your business now that you can get more leads. Now that you freed your time, filled that time with more marketing and sales efforts to grow the business and we'll also leave you with okay how do you keep growing you know from here so I kind of want to give you guys a model for how to grow your business no matter what stage of the business you're at um, we've got five more videos coming at you and uh, this is kind of an overview of what we're gonna be talking about so we'll see you in the next video